Welcome back to our XRP Ledger series. In this episode, we'll cover federated sidechains and how they operate. For starters, what is a sidechain? A sidechain is a separate network that runs parallel to the decentralized mainnet of the XRP Ledger. It utilizes the same technology that has successfully powered the XRP Ledger for nearly a decade, yet acts as its own blockchain. Anyone can create and run a sidechain to the XRP Ledger. And what is a federator? That's the connection point that runs between a sidechain and the XRP ledger, passing value from one chain to the other, creating interoperability between the two. Think of it this way. Say the XRP ledger is like the internet, a global network that anyone can use to transfer data around the world. A sidechain is like a personal or business network that allows people to have the capabilities they need and provide more control. For example, a sidechain can operate like a private home network, meaning the owner decides who can access it and which devices run on it. A sidechain can also run more like a public network, a network at a cafe, for example, which could be open and permissionless. And in each case, there's a router, which, like a federator, connects these networks to the wider internet. The purpose across all of it is the same, transferring data, but with variations in how they function depending on the needs of the users. Federated sidechains create exciting new opportunities for developers. They empower developers to customize the core proven XRPL technology to the needs of a specific use case or project. For example, developers can have flexibility to make the sidechain permissioned or permissionless, centralized or largely decentralized, public or private, while maintaining the ability to move assets back and forth with the mainnet. That includes trading assets from a sidechain through the decentralized exchange, or DEX, on the mainnet. They have a choice in validators. For instance, if it's a permissioned and private sidechain, choosing who they are and how many there are. Developers have flexibility in other system rules, like transaction fees and reserve requirements, which could be removed if the developer wanted to do so. They also have the opportunity to temporarily manage a sidechain and shut it down after it has served its purpose, and finally, developers can employ other innovative design characteristics that can be tuned to specific use cases like tokenization, DeFi, or payments. Note that successful new sidechain features may eventually be ported to the XRPL mainnet if the community votes to approve the proposal. So why are sidechains useful? Because they allow developers to easily and freely experiment with a ready-to-go system based on the ledger's technology. The ledger's features can be customized to a specific use case. New capabilities can be tested and then migrated to the main ledger with validator approval. Or a private network could be developed to run alongside the open source XRP ledger. Federated sidechains allow ultimate flexibility and ease of use for developers without compromising the speed and efficiency of the main ledger. Developers can now create their own sidechains or, assuming another sidechain permits it and is right for their project, can build on a sidechain someone else created. And of course, all developers are welcome to build on the public and decentralized XRP Ledger mainnet. To learn more about the fundamentals of the XRP Ledger, please watch the next episode.